Hello everyone, I've been working on a little secret project. Out in the woods behind my parents' house, I've been cutting a hiking trail. They have about 10 acres. And with the weather getting colder, it, I've realized that I'm not going to be able to enjoy doing that as much. So we decided to build a little tiny house. But I'm still unemployed, so it needed to be cheap. So we thought, why not use free pallets? So after gathering some pallets from some local businesses, uh, with the help of my dad and his truck, we got to work. Uh, after clearing a spot out in the woods, we laid it out and it ended up being roughly 12 by 8 with a nice little porch on the front. It didn't look like much at first, but as we pulled out some things that we had salvaged over the years that we just had laying around in storage, it really started to come together and I'm really excited for this project. It was some cold mornings working. Uh, Dad's little Toyota truck got us back in the woods to deliver supplies and it could not have worked out better. As things came together, we used some windows from a house that I, uh, my parents salvaged, a door that was given to my dad by an old friend uh, who was a contractor, and then uh, we got to the point where we were going to have to spend some money on some roof material. We were going to get some metal roofing. And I was so lucky to find out that one of my dad's friends at work, who's a, co a contractor, had some free metal uh, that he was willing to give us. So, uh, so far, the only thing that we had spent money on on this project was the screws that we were using to put it together. Everything else we had laying around or it was graciously given to me. Weather didn't always cooperate, but uh, it was so nice to have the roof on and we could work inside and get out of the rain. And the project really uh, took a while, but it, it was a lot of fun and it's very peaceful out in the woods. The doors and things have been packed away forever in an old shed, so they were filthy. And I used the opportunity of a rainy day where we couldn't work outside anymore to do a little cleaning. It was kind of silly to clean windows when there wasn't walls, but it made me feel better. One thing I did have to purchase is tar paper. It's generally used for roofing, but we used it uh, kind of as a vapor barrier around the outside just to kind of seal everything in as it, we worked on getting the walls and stuff together. This was the first night that we uh, had it closed in enough to put a light inside and let the light shine out. And I was just so excited to see this start to really come together. So it is Halloween, October 31st. 2021 and the cabin has tar paper this is a big point of course it's all made with pallets and save stuff that we already had but getting the walls on just really makes it look like something super excited to see it all come together it's all dried in there's two more windows to go in which will go in later and then there's gonna be a back porch back here. Pretty view of trees changing. Stained glass windows in. I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. Got the insulation today too. So insulate the walls and the roof. Start finishing the inside and I can put stuff in.
had some old paneling laying around, so I didn't have to buy that, but it ended up looking pretty good inside. Uh, I'm excited to get to the finishing point of this. Putting in these windows was one of the hardest part of the projects, but it's actually probably my favorite part, especially at night. I love how it makes it look like it's got two little eyes. There's a wood stove that's going to go in the middle there, so the stovepipe will go out between the windows. In the spirit of keeping it as cheap as we can, we use some old cedar trees that my dad had cut down as porch posts, and I absolutely love them. So having access to the old paneling was great, but it was a little worse for wear, it was a little dirty, and I had saved some maps from uh, actually the garbage at an estate sale I went to one time, and I had the crazy idea to put them up on the ceiling. So I spent a day pasting maps to the ceiling, I'm going to go over it with Maj Podge to get all the corners to lay down, had some spare carpet laying around, so I put that down as well, and it's really starting to come together. And this is the point I was waiting for to make this video to where it actually kind of looked like something. I put my World War II army cot in there and some quilts just for fun. I had saved these old blinds from a mansion that was torn down in Bell Mead, Nashville, Tennessee, and they work just perfect in here. So the moral of the story is trying to use up what we have. So this is just the first installment of the Tiny House story. Check back for updates and like and subscribe.